A lot of you reached out to me this week to share a recent COVID-19 study conducted by the CDC. Basically, a lot of you wanted me to share it on the air. So, here we go. In a nutshell, the CDC released a report that says if you are unvaccinated, you are twice as likely to get COVID-19 a second time compared to those who are vaccinated. It was based on people who were infected with COVID in 2020 and then reinfected between May and June of 2021. The study took place in Kentucky and less than a thousand people were involved. Many of you wanted me to share this study as a source to promote the COVID-19 vaccine. After all, that is exactly what the mainstream media did. Here are some of their headlines. Natural infection isn't enough to protect against COVID-19. Experts say you will still need a vaccine. USA Today. Unvaccinated, more than twice as likely to get COVID-19 again, CDC says, Wall Street Journal. And CDC says COVID-19 reinfections for unvaccinated over twice as likely compared to vaccinated. Forbes. Sounds scary, right? Sounds alarming, especially if you're unvaccinated. However, if you actually take the time to read the study, like I did, and not just the headlines from USA Today, you would know the study is simply about reinfection, which is rare. It's not a study about the severity of COVID-19 reinfection being twice as bad. In fact, it says people present milder symptoms during their second bout, nor is it about the death rate being twice as likely or even the transmission rate being twice as likely. But it certainly came off that way when you read through the mainstream media headlines. Is a vaccine another layer of defense? You betcha, and I am not here to dispute its effectiveness. But should this study and all these headlines and other articles like these be used as a source for members of the media to promote the COVID-19 vaccine? You tell me.